Hey, everybody. Good morning. So I want to say something real quick about, you know, Will Smith slapping the shit out of Chris Rock. <laughs> I'm going to first and foremost say, great. I don't think nothing's wrong with that. For all of you sitting back behind the screen that has an opinion, if you are nowhere in the public eye, you should just shut the fuck up, okay? Because for people that... What's going on, my people? This is JP with Calm Vibes, and I am back again. Will Smith and Chris Rock. Okay, so everybody's seen it. You know, I post one time before on it. Um... But I'm really, really surprised at our black people and how they're responding. And it's kind of funny. You know, and I couldn't get the words how I wanted to um, talk about this. But um, Michi X, I ran across one of her videos and she said exactly what I wanted to fucking say. And, uh, and I like Michi X, so shout out to her. This part of her video, um, I'll put the link to her video on this so you can see the whole thing. But I pretty much have it, but I want you guys to see it from hers. But it's just crazy, man, how some of you guys respond to things. But let's get to it. But before, let's hit that subscribe, like, notification bell, show support. And let's get right to this thing, man. Check this out. Hey, everybody. Good morning. So I want to say something real quick about, you know, Will Smith slapping the shit out of Chris Rock. <laughs> I'm going to first and foremost say, great. I don't think nothing's wrong with that. For all of you sitting back behind the screen that has an opinion, if you are nowhere in the public eye, you should just shut the fuck up, okay? Because for people that are, we get tired of folks speaking on us. We get tired of people thinking we could be the brother day joke or the fucking topic of your video or whatever the fuck you got to say about somebody just because people are in the public. So as Chris Rock got the shit slapped out of him, I feel like it's a whole lot of y'all that should get the shit slapped out of y'all. Like, because being who I am, some of you niggas who keep putting your mouth on me, my kids, and my family, Family, if you see me in public, I'm going to slap the shit out of you, too. Uh, 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 that was a nice one. Okay. Keep my wife's name out your mouth. He slapped it. Oh, my mama. So, now. Let's move on to the thing I really want to talk about in this conversation. You know, I noticed this morning, it, all kind of black folks, they just all over the internet talk about white people, white people, white people. Why we act like this in front of white people? You shouldn't do this in white people. I can't believe that these black folks acted like this in front of white people. Look how black folks act. Why y'all doing this in front of white people? This is so embarrassing. Y'all do know that y'all sound like some coons off the plantation, right? Y'all so worried about what white people think. And why do you keep holding everybody to a standard of whiteness? You do realize that what happened between Chris Rock and um, Will Smith was a human thing? Why they can't just be two human beings and one got fed up with another? Why do you have to attach a race to whatever the fuck happened? And then you attach it as though white people don't ever do anything to anybody or they don't ever act like that in public or that they don't ever choose violence. White people don't choose violence? Oh, so we just kind of forget about all this January 6th stuff, right? Hmm. Check this out. I'm going to let y'all think about that for a minute. You know how dumb that sounds? Why the fuck do you keep holding these black men to a standard of what the fuck we should do based on white people? Fuck white people. Have you ever been around white people? As a biracial woman, I have. So now, this is what gets me right here. I saw over the years how when somebody white do something like horrific to us and the first thing all the black Christians pop out of the damn woodwork. We should forgive them. I forgive you. I forgive you. But let it be a black relative. Do something to you. They can just steal a couple of dollars out your purse. Or do something at your house. You will never talk to them again in your life. That's what I'm talking about. You can forgive somebody from another fucking race. That do something horrific from you. I mean to you. And you'll forgive them. But somebody of your own race do something, y'all condemn the shit out of. And I heard all that, oh, it make us look bad and all that. It don't make us look bad. That made him and his family look bad. I'm not running around here ashamed because Will Smith slapped the shit out of Chris Rock. And if you ashamed that Chris, Will Smith slapped the shit out of Chris Rock, there's something wrong with you. I don't know these fuckers personally. 
I never seen them in person. <laughs> and neither have you guys. So what the fuck a problem? <laughs> I just don't understand it, man. Our people, our people are the fucking worst, man. Damn. Racial woman I have. So let me explain something to y'all for the 15,000 trillion million time. White people are ghetto, y'all. You do know that there are white people that are poor. You do know that there are white people that are drug addicts. You do know that there are white people that will slap the shit out of you in public too and don't give a fuck. You do know that white people are human beings like anybody else. Why the fuck do you keep holding black people, especially black people, to a standard of whiteness? Why the fuck do we need to act like white people? And who the fuck said that white people are so civilized? Oh my God. You mad at, at Will Smith for choosing violence for people fucking with his wife. Something black people won't choose for white people fucking with you all the time. I wish you'd get up and slap the shit out of white supremacy. But no, you niggas would rather have people sit down, not fight back for their rights or defend themselves. That's what you want Will Smith to do to act like the rest of the niggas the way we act towards white folks. Y'all need to shut up because white folks invented fucking violence in this country. They have been building this country and choosing violence since day one. But now black people shouldn't be choosing violence in front of white folks because what will Massa think because we so ghetto? Shut the fuck up. All of y'all speaking like that and you black, you're conditioned as fuck. You have a complex about being black and in your subconscious, you think white people are better than us. You should check yourself this motherfucking morning instead of trying to check Will Smith. Okay, short, sweet, to the fucking point. I uh, want to thank Michi X for putting the words out that I wanted to say because she said exactly everything I wanted to say. And I'll continue to say it. We got to stop condemning ourselves for the littlest things. And another thing, y'all women always say you should protect your black woman, your queen. If you felt that somebody hurt your queen, you don't know what the reaction might be. That was his reaction because the man is human. I don't care what his status is, even at his level, he saw that it hurt his wife. Even though he thought it was just a joke at first, when he saw how it affected his wife, then he jumped into action. Because I know some of you ain't never had a, a woman in your life, your mom or sister, anybody go through something like losing their hair for some other reason. You know, I would have thought she had chemo or something. So I would have never made a joke about it. And that's what he should have thought about. He didn't know why she cut her hair. He found out later that what it was after the fact. But when Charlemagne the God talked to him, he didn't know that she was suffering from alopecia. Like I said, I thought maybe she had had chemo or something and just kept it on the wrap. So I would have never made a joke about her hair. So that was on him. Not doing his due diligence and his homework before he make a comment about someone, especially a woman's health. been the same Peter said something about one of them older white women or one of them white women that was just so skinny she like a skeleton he made a skeleton joke I mean a, uh, yeah a skeleton joke about it and she suffered from an eating disorder or some kind of disease or something and the woman didn't think the joke was funny and looked and got you know and the husband got mad about it but that's the shit we have to understand when you're making these jokes Keep that shit to dudes, man. Why are you attacking women anyway? Like I said, that's a bust on him. I would have never cracked on the woman. Especially with the husband being the fucking main objective for the night. You attack his wife? Of all people? When the last time have the... How would they say the... The host of the night is being roasted. When has that happened? You roast his wife and thought that shit was funny. Oh, I was an easy one. So you probably had a couple more set to say, and we'll just shut that shit down. Well, it is what it is. They'll get past it like everything else. Let them handle it. Let's stay out of it. And that's it. Don't forget, guys, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell. It was good hollering at you. 
Thank you, Michi X. Again, like I said, I like this chick. I like her energy. I'll keep checking her out. Y'all take care. JP Convives. Peace.